Mr. Zapala, thank you so much for joining us today. We've been asking all the candidates to choose a spot to dine with us. Why did you pick the Carlton? Oh, uh, this is a great place. Um, first of all, Kevin, Kevin's a character, the owner of the place. And um, the food is tremendous. So, uh, you, you know, it's, it's, and it's right next door to the courthouse, which is where I live. Should you be elected? What is priority number one for you in office? Well, confidence in that office. I mean, uh, the Attorney General's under indictment. Um, and, you know, I've looked at that from at least two different perspectives. One is uh, as the prosecutor here in, in Pittsburgh and what that office has done to assist the business of the people of, in law enforcement here in Allegheny County. And we can do a lot better. I was asked to testify as an expert on the use of a grand jury. I run our grand jury. I've done that for 18 years. Uh, in Montgomery County, I understand what the evidence was in that case. And that case can and should be heard by a jury. It's, it's, it's a righteous prosecution. Do you think it's a situation where you would need to clean house should you be elected just to start fresh? No, I don't think so. I, I think it's, it's a professional office. There's some really talented people there. I think there, you know, a number of people are not being uh, utilized properly. Uh, we would make some changes in that regard. There will be no more information coming out of the grand juries. We would change the structure of that. I would change some of the leadership of that. I don't need to tell you about the problem that we have with heroin in our community and the way it's wrecking families and lives. What needs to be done at the state level to get a handle on this? It's a major problem. It's, it's not a criminal justice problem necessarily. It's a health care problem. It's an educational problem. We need to be in the schools uh, in a much better way. We've had a few cases here locally with um, officers being accused of inappropriate behavior during arrests and what have you. There's the question of fairness in some of these uh, interactions that officers have with people in the community. Do you think that body cameras are needed to protect both parties in these incidents? This is a visual society. If the public either individually or as sitting as a jury or, or you know, a court of public opinion can see objectively what happened in connection with an, an interaction with police, that's, that's healthy, that's good for the public. Um, we have reduced the number of complaints against police officers by 90 percent just by having cameras in police cars. I think body cams is a logical extension. Your opponent, Josh Shapiro, was recently endorsed by President Obama. Yes, it's What do you make stuff. of that? Well, I didn't vote for President <laughs> Obama. I didn't support him, so I figured, you know, what the hell. So He's you're not, not surprised? Support no. A cause that's near and dear to your heart um, is protecting children from SIDS. Yes. Tell me why that's such a passion of yours and what you've been able to do to help so many mothers. Cribs for Kids was born, and it came from a, uh, you know, trying to get cribs, you know, the public to help us donate cribs at the Monroeville Mall to now a $5 million international operation where, um, you know, nobody leaves a hospital in Pennsylvania until they understand safe sleep issues and separate sleeping quarters and and if you can't afford it we'll take care of that for you now you have a wife and four sons i do what do they think about this campaign trail because obviously you've run you know for office before but this is a much bigger office this is ag and my wife and i um, promised our sons promised ourselves actually more importantly that we would raise our kids and when the kids were raised and they said get out of the house <laughs> which they're telling me now get out of the house um, that I would consider other office. And unfortunately, we have some issues both in Pennsylvania and outside of Pennsylvania, which have impacted people's perception of their criminal justice system. And, and um, there's things that need to be done. Jackie Kane, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.